Hello, welcome to YouTube channel Bachelor and Master English. If you are new viewer, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Today we are talking about the emergence of the diary and English diarist. This is the lecture concerned with 17th century English diarist Samuel Pipps and John Evelyn. Okay, let's talk about it. The emergence of the diary in the 17th century and the diaries of the period. The second half of the 17th century saw the emergence of a new literary form that's the diary. As science started to explore the working of the human mind, people became more interested in themselves and started to keep records of their private thoughts and actions in diaries. Diaries written in the restoration period provides us uh, an insight into the day-to-day -day life of that period. These diaries were not written with an intention of being read by others. Writers did not wish to make any claim to having produced literature. These are frank and sincere accounts of what actually happened. Diary and memoir writers supplied one of the most remarkable divisions of prose of the 17th century. The most well-known friendship between diarists of the period was that which existed between Samuel Pipps and John Evelyn. Both were members of the Royal Society, a society founded in the 1660s to engage in scientific experiments, debate and promote learning. They were by no means close friends. During the years of Pipps' diary at least, they frequently recorded their meetings and compliments for one another in their diaries. Evelyn held the post of commissioner for the sick and owned a post which brought him into the same professional sphere as Pips during the Dutch conflict of the 1660s. Pips mentioned a scheme of his in 1666 to get Evelyn into the Navy office as a commissioner. So obviously Pips had um, a high regard for his talents and his loyalty to himself. Pips first mentioned Evelyn on 1st May 1665. Evelyn was not mentioned very frequently in the Pips diary and he appears to have been someone with whom Pips had a general acquaintance concerning Navy business and whom he occasionally met around the governmental areas of Whitehall or Westminster or at the Royal Society. Evelyn mentioned their acquaintance in a diary entry for uh, June 1669. Pips traveled with him when the two men went together to visit Evelyn's brother in order to encourage him to have an operation. Okay, the first diarist, uh, the innovator of diary as a new genre of literature, and that was Samuel Pips, who lived from 1633 three to seventeen hundred three seventy years so within these seven decades what contribution that person uh, had in the history of English diary writing so let's talk about that uh, Samuel Pipps the most famous diarist of the period was Samuel Pipps whose famous diary is also considered as a prose work mm, his diary could not be read until 1852 because it was written in sacred signs uh, through the diary Pips seemed to be talking to himself his language is spontaneous he wrote what comes to his mind and did not try to refine it one comes across slips and abbreviations in his writing there was at times an irregularity in sequence the writing was based upon active observation which continuously analyzed. He wrote for himself in a secret code of shorthand, contractions and foreign words and texts were only deciphered in 1852. It gives the true picture of social life of the time and describes uh, some events of the time in detail. His diary which presents himself as a hero is very interested and colorful work. Uh, he used diary for his autobiography 
through a new genre of prose. He was uh, an extraordinary man. He founded the Royal Navy, was uh, an outstanding civil servant and became president of the Royal Society. It is not, however, the public side of a man that, is, that his diary reveals, but the intimate details of his private life. Uh, he wrote the diary in 11 volumes between 1660 and 1669. He spoke of the great events of the day such as the great plague the, that occurred in 1665, the great fire 1666, the Dodge War 1664 um, and political intrigues of the period. But it is his frank. Uh, accounts of everyday life in a wealthy family written in a simple style and rich in detail and humor that make his work unique. Samuel Pepys was a man with bright eyes but features of no great beauty, as we judge from his portraits and his remarks about his nose. He was somehow, somewhat, he was somewhat a dandy in his dress a great lover of music, a quick-tempered master, and an indefatigable worker. Often arising at four and working until midnight, delving into this diary more than anything else you can do will make you feel that you yourself have lived in the 17th century. Such is his power of describing things in detail such as power of perception and description and uh, lively presentation such was his uh, language and expression and that is the contribution of uh, Samuel Pepys, John Evelyn. Uh, John Evelyn uh, was born in 1620 and he died in 1706 lived for 86 years. The way he wrote diary was different from that uh, his friend and trusty fellow um, Samuel Pepys had written. Pepys' friend John Evelyn, a country gentleman and one of the founders of the Royal Society, also kept a diary. His diary or memoir spanned the period of his adult life from 1640 uh, when he was a student to 1706, the year he died. So he wrote diary for um, that long period. He started writing it when he was only 21 years old and continued for most of his life. But he was not a regular record keeper of daily events. Travel, architecture, the arts of life and inventions um, made his life easier or more interesting remained Evelyn's chief interest. He was interested in gardens, travel and life at a court. He opens in 1641 when he was 21 with a retrospective summary of his parentage, birthplace and boyhood. He continued to write his diary till his death. His diary contains a record of events which took place uh, till nearly a month before his death. He lived a long and busy life up nearly 65 years. He wrote mostly about places and events and his diary is full of accurate information, scientific observation, uh, his own unique style of narration. Unlike Pips, he did not include uh, intimate details about his personal life. Indeed, the more detached, impersonal tone suggests that he may have written the diary not purely for personal pleasure, but for a possible future audience. Like Pips, his diary is valuable historical document. John Evelyn had long contribution. He tried to bring, he tried to include accurate information, scientific observation, and uh, he tried to detach himself from his diary. Okay, and it's time to sum up. These two diaries saw the revolution in different ways. Pips had a fund of intellectual curiosity, but he reveals himself in his diary. There is much more of ordinary human frailty, 
vanity, lust, ambition. Pip's career as civil servant emerges from his diary in the midst of the vanities, trivialities, uh, gossip, and domestic problems which he presents with engaging frankness. Whereas Evelyn's diary is in no sense a private confession but a confident almost at times to consciously um, almost at times to consciously articulated whereas Evelyn's diary is in no sense a private confession but a confident almost at times to consciously articulated account of what he did thought and saw so this is all about uh, today's discussion regarding uh, the emergence of diary as a new genre of prose and the diarist the great diarist of uh, this genre we talked about samuel pips and john evelyn both were the civil servants please subscribe my channel and like comment and share this video thank you very much